Hey, what's up guys? Travis here with Boostworks. We're here today to show you the engine lowering mounts for the 2015 Mustang GT. Comes with the Kenny Bell kit. Uh, the mount is a billet, aluminum, and polyurethane mount. Uh, comes with new bolts and hardware. Really easy to install. Um, I guess there's been a little bit of um, uh, rumor or myth that these things are very hard to install. But in reality, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes, whether you're on a lift or on the ground. So uh, how easy is it to install? Look for yourself. We didn't show the factory mount removal, but it's basically you know the same two bolts here. Instead of a bolt, there is a nut uh, and stud, but same principle. Very easy to get to. So loosen these up from the top, and then go underneath and do your business with the uh, with the new mounts. Other side, same thing. Very easy to get to. You can see it there. Uh, no special tools required. Nothing crazy. Just uh, a 10 to 15, call it 20 minute install if you're on the ground. Due to the install and the lift, we do use a pull jack. Uh, most shops have these. Put a little piece of wood or rubber on the end up here if you want to protect the uh, the metal on the pan. But we lift basically lift one side at a time, uh, just on the bell housing for the tranny. Uh, very simple to do. If you don't have that and you're on the ground, you can use a floor jack, same, same principle. Um, just a lot easier on the lift. We've already removed our mounts, but I'm going to show you, you know, pole jack placement here, piece of wood just to protect the, the aluminum. Uh, we do lift up and one side at a time, and that allows us to slide the mount out. You can see here there's plenty of room. Uh, this, of course, this mounts in already, but this will allow you to slide the factory mount out, which I'll show you in a second. How easy is it to change an engine mount? That easy. Um, when you're done, just lower it back down onto your new mount and uh, move it over to the other side. We're in place on the uh, driver's side here. And you can see there's plenty of room there. I've got it lifted up. Again, we've already removed the factory mounts, but just to give you an idea of placement. Again, if you don't have a pole jack, you would lift here. Same location with a, a floor jack and then on the other side here on these little ears. Uh, again, it's one side at a time. If you try to lift the whole thing up, uh, you have a you'll have a more difficult time getting the mounts out to clear the uh, the subframe. So do one side at a time. So for the steering shaft, uh, you want to remove this piece here. Uh, these two bolts are Torx T40s. Remove this bolt. Remove this bolt. Uh, slide this shaft up, and this piece will come off of the the rack and just set it aside. That'll allow you to. Uh, get to the bolts here and get the mount out a lot easier. The other side. Not very hard either. And when you're done, just put the bolts back in, torque them back down, good to go. Plenty of room for everything still. Nothing hangs down. Again, perfectly fine, dropping the engine three quarters of an inch. Nothing funky going on with the dry shaft angle. Nothing funky there either. Completely fine. So there you have it folks, engine mount install for 2015 Mustang GT. Uh, very straightforward, simple. Uh, looking at the factory mounts, uh, they're pretty flimsy and the billet and poly mount is definitely the better option here. You know, I hope we've dispelled some of the, the myths and rumors about lowering your engine three quarters of an inch. It doesn't change the drive shaft angle or anything funky. There's nothing weird going on. People have been doing this for 15 years ever since top mount superchargers came out. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoy.